Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a donation form using Paystack Forms on WordPress. Um, this will help you create donation form maybe for your charity website or for your NGO website where people can enter their name, email, um, enter the amount they want to donate. Also select whether it's going to be daily, monthly, weekly, biannually, annually where they'll be deducted every for daily every day. So and they enter their phone number and you can also add terms and condition and once you click on pay they can make the payment using paystack checkout so let's get straight into it so to start the first thing you have to do is to install the paystack forms plugin and to do that you log in into your wordpress dashboard you go to plugins click on add new enter paystack forms search for paystack forms So click on install this one, the Spark Club Paystack from so Paystack. Click on install and make sure you've you activate it. So mine is already active. So I'll just once it's activated on the left hand side, you are going to see Paystack forms. Click on it. So normally what I like to do is to um first work on the settings before I go into editing the form and creating the form. So I'll go to Paystack, click on settings. So I'll be using the test mode um, for this video. So once you have your live keys, you can change this from test mode to live mode. So you can always enter your secret key and public key, the test or the live one, depending on the one you want to use. So to get your test key, all you have to do is to log in into your paystack dashboard. On the left hand side, the last part of the menu, click on settings. Let me just walk you through it. Let's wait for it to load. Once you click on settings, go to API keys and web hooks. So you see your test secret key and your test public key. Um, if you've already activated your account, you have access to your public key. So which your live keys, which you can just copy and paste here. So for me, I'll just be using the, the test keys, test keys, which I'll copy and I'll paste. Yeah, so once I'm done doing that, um, you can select the percentage in which paystack is going to be, uh, in which paystack is going to remove. You can also set a threshold where this will not, um, the percentage will no longer, no longer be active. So, and you can change the additional charge also, then you can create a cap. So, so this is, it depends on what you want to do. So paystack has given you freedom to do all those things with the paystack forms. So once you're done, just click on save changes. So now let's now set our form. So you go to the left hand side of the WordPress menu, click on all forms, click on add new at the top. All right. So what we are going to do is add the title. What's going to be our donation form title. So for me, it's going to be, let's say charity, then now, the good thing is with this form, Paystack has already given us the, they've already added some default um, form fields that we don't need to, we had, for example, the full name field has already been added automatically. Also, the email field has been added automatically. So, and they have one year using the file inputs field may cost data value. So, you have to be careful the amount of MB you allow if you're going to be uploading files with the form which I don't think is advisable because of your server um, space. So basically, apart from the default forms, you can add additional forms. Um, for this one, I have phone number and you can make um, some of the forms required or all the forms required, sorry. All you have to do is to copy. They already give us a sample here. Just copy required. So after the phone number, I'll just paste it. So it's as simple as that. So I can add different things. I can add okay i can add nigerian states let's say i want to say what state are you are you donating from so i'll just click insert nigerian state it's going to load all the states so i like to break it so that to look a bit more organized so so state uh, i can say instead of state i can change it to location sorry i can remove any state i want to remove um so yeah, I can also make this required. Just add it after the last date, the after the last top column. 
So yeah, um, you can still add additional things. You can add a select um, drop down. Um, what kind of age? We can select. We can create age. Um, let's put um, twenty-five, thirty, and um, thirty-two or forty. Sorry. Yeah. So you can just put the space. All right. Then you can make it required. So let me just do that. Just a minute. Just copy this and paste it here. And uh, yeah, you can always play around with the other um, form fields. Um, it's very easy to use, very easy to add. So the next thing we're going to work on is, let me close the gap in between this. I, I don't think it's going to work if I don't do that. So the next thing is kindly ignore the custom fields. So now the extra form description now, you can hide the form title default on default is going to display the form title but for me i'm going to hide it um you can change the currency uh, for me you can change it to nigerian naira Ghanaian cities or us dollars if your account has been activated to use usd so for me i'll just use nigerian naira so amount to be paid now if you want to have a fixed cost where a fixed donation cost where Let's say everybody must pay. If you are going to donate, you have to just pay 2000 fixed. Not going to change. Um, you can just put 2000 right? But if you are not going to be using fixed costs, just click on make amount minimum payable and um, just leave it like this. So that means the least anybody can donate is 2000 So um, we have variable drop down. So this is for creating like options. Let's say you want to create, you have different uh, partnership plan. I think some NGO have that. You have the basic um, uh, uh, basic partner where they will be donating maybe 3,000. They have the pro donating 10,000. So this is what um, this is used for. So to add this, all you just have to, to do is to click on this. So copy it. So just change option one to basic as I've explained. Then option two to let's say pro so that means if you are selecting basic you're paying ten thousand you are selling to pro you'll be paying three thousand so yeah but for this we are just creating a donation from where people can donate any amount but a minimum payment of two thousand so you can change the payment um the button so you can change this from pay to whatever thing you want to change it to for me i'll just click i'll change it to donate now add extra chat. Now you know while we're doing the settings, we created a we were given the freedom to change how the charges is going to be processed. So do you want the the person donating to add to pay for the charges from Paystack, or you would handle that from your hand? Um, for me, I think it's always advisable to for the business to pay the charges. I think it's not fair for people donating to also pay the extra charge. So yeah, it's all the it all depends on you, but that's just my own opinion. I think it's a dark pattern because I believe I'm doing it in 2000. Getting to the checkout, I have another extra charge, which doesn't make sense. So that's just my own opinion, by the way. Um, user logged in. So do you want the user to be logged in before they can make donations? So success message after payment. Um, you can change the success message. They have a default. Thank you for paying for me. I say thank you for your donation donation uh really appreciate so you can change it to whatever thing you want to change it to so if you are inserting a upload um field so you can select the minimum file size but i don't think most child ngos will need all this to be honest um yeah but this one is quite straightforward redirect to page link after payment so do you want them to be redirected to a special thank you page or you want them to be redirected to the home page? So for me, I'll just redirect them to the home page. All right, paste this. So email receipt, they will get an email after the, the payment or the donation has been made. So send an invoice when the payment is attempted, attempted, sorry. Send email receipt, yes. If you don't want to send email receipt, don't send. Thank you for your payment. So for my email subject, I'll say thank you for your donation. Merchant's name on receipt is going to be charity. Okay. The rural, the 
the royal child. So we've received your donation. So you can add the adding. We've received your donation. You can just whatever you want to put there, you can put that there. Then you can you can create, you can add your body so you can tell them how much you appreciate the payment or the donation. So yeah. Um the next thing I would like to show you is on the right hand side, the side. So we have the sub account, which um I don't I don't think this is be needed for your donation form, to be honest. And subscription, I don't think this will be needed for your donation form. Um if you scroll up, you have agreements checkbox. So this is where you can create a terms and agreements. Um, you can link um, the form. You can create a link to the terms and agreement agreements page where they understand what is going on and they have the, an idea of the terms of the payment. So and click on yes, add the link. For me, I'll just create. Um, I'll just add impact stories, just to show you how it works. So then quantify quantity payment um this is let's say you want to create that option i told you about the last time basic and pro and you want them to be able to select the quantity so for example you know basic was ten thousand. so if you want them to be able to add it in multiples of two or three so that means three times ten thousand. so that means um that's thirty thousand they are paying for so yeah that's what um quantity means um so the most, the one I want to, uh, I think the important one here is the recurring payment. So we are going to make it optional. Um, and the main reason why I'm making it optional is, let's say I'm the kind of person that I love donating every week, every day, every month. So I'll just click on, you make it optional for them to be able to select it on, in the form. So this is where we have um, something like this. So once you're done, um, just go through it one more time and see if there's any mistake you've you made um just click on and once you're done just click on publish now to add this form all you have to do is just copy the short code so for me i'm using elementor right so i'm just going to edit this page sorry let me load it i'm i don't know why it's not working so let me just um get there from pages go to donate Edit with Elementor. So let's just wait for it to load. So this works with. Um, so it's saying you must set your API keys. Okay, sorry. Let me just confirm this. Settings. I think I've done that. Let me just save this so that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was then live instead of test. So click on save changes. So I'll go back to my Elementor page. So I'll had, let me just delete this. I'll had the short code um, widget. Add it here then, paste it. So this works with your normal basic WordPress um, editor also. So as you can see, it's showing me the title. So I want to deactivate that. Let me, because I already have donate here. So let me edit. Is it um, hide from title? I'll take that. Click on update. So I must have added this. Let me just click on update. Let me load the page. So let's see what we have. All right. So we have the full name. We have our email. And we have um, amount. Um, so that's the minimum payable amount. You can pay below this. Recurring payment. That was the last thing we added. Um, phone number, you can select the location, you can see the age, you see that it's required. Then accept terms, you can see I linked it to impact stories. So let's try our payment. Let's just go back to the page. So accept this. Let me just enter random details. And uh, my phone number. All right, state. I'm just put Kano age 20 let's put 40. so as you can see we changed the, the name of the button from pay to donate so let's try this click on donate let's wait for it to load so you can see yeah we already have our test so click on success click on pay yeah and we're good so it's going to redirect me to 
the page which I selected, which was my own page. So basically that's how to create a donate form on um, WordPress using pay stack forms. So if this video was helpful, um, kindly drop the like button and subscribe. Before you go, um, I'm going to be creating, creating a video on how to create this website you're seeing, a charity website. So just stay glued and um, let's enjoy creating this together. All right, bye for now.